And that's how I know this is a dirty game that Diddy is playing. Ain't no way he ever gonna be safe. With a sex tape collection like that, oh my Usher with double D's, Stevie J one leg up on the tape allegedly, Meek Mills twerking on cam. He got them old school Wu Tang and Onyx freak off tapes. He got the Steve Harvey Kings of Comedy freak off backstage after party tapes. Oh he got everybody on cam doing something they ain't got no business doing. He put the remix out there. He invented the remix. Outcast, Andre 3000, Love Below playing the flute tapes. Oh my goodness. In his drawers. He got it all. CeeLo Green, Pot Belly Baby Oil tapes. You name it. But most importantly, man, he got these Meek Mill classics they saying that they had a flame or a flinger it was something between them they had a desire for one each other one another at one point in time man they were so twisted in love crazy in love that they wore matching outfits once upon a time man and people was wondering why did diddy and Meek Mill have on the same clothes. Oh my goodness. It looked like they was on a date on some freak off Disneyland shit with the dude from Jackass in the building. And they both pressed in on this little man. They made a sandwich with him in the, mil in the middle. They humping and bumping, man. And he can't find his way away from they Johnsons. The look on Meek Mill face says it all, man. That's why people allegating and speculating. And with your boy Stevie J being the face of love and hip hop Atlanta, it's been zesty rumors about him for the longest. Now they got him on camera looking like a pit bull dog sticking his sausage into somebody that he probably shouldn't have been with, man. And this all alleged allegations. And we all know about Diddy and Usher fighting over the cereal box. But this time they got them on tape fighting over other stuff. And we gonna get around to what them other things is. But before we do that, y'all need to do me a favor and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Also hit that notification button, y'all. I got so much love for y'all. Everybody watching, make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. And without further ado, let me show y'all some love real quick before we get into the video for real. The phone line's open. The question is, is it safe to say that hip hop is indeed zesty? Y'all gotta let me know. OG Philly, Sis Yafa Israel, Two Wine, King Gold, Ronald Monroe, Detroit's finest, Third Coast is in the building. What's up, baby? No. Long time no see, man. So glad to see you in the building. Long Wolf, Cookie is kicking it as well. Swifty Panda, what's up, ya? Nails by Nisha, um, Tivius Banks, what's up, dog? Maya Ray, MAGA in the building. That's what it is. Okay, let's get into this news real quick. Y'all got to see this real quick and fast. Y'all got to see this, because this man is scared for his life. Listen. Hello everyone, um, until further notice, I will not be performing at any gigs or anything like that um, for security reasons. My family, friends, and everyone close to me just feels like there's a lot of potential threats and everybody's just telling me what he's allegedly capable of and, you know, it's very scary um, for myself and, you know, it has me worried about my kids and, you know, just sleeping with anxiety and, and different things like that so just moving forward um just want to pause on everything until we know that it's it's, it's clear and safe for me oh ain't no pause ain't no pause man oh my goodness. how you gonna pause on anything with the zestiest lawsuit in human history man ain't no pause you should have paused when you said you seen stevie j on tape penetrating some dude that looked like Tom Hanks. That's when you should have paused, man. Hold on, man. Diddy 
hey, this dude, Lil Rod, whatever his name is, man. He got the nerve to say he gonna pause. He said Diddy groped his anus and ejaculated his testicles, man. And a whole bunch of other stuff that people can't even believe. He also alleges that Combs tried to groom him into engaging in sex with a fellow producer, Stephen Aaron Jordan, Stevie motherfucking J, man. And he promised to make sure that Mr. Jones win producer of the year at the Grammys if he engaged in homosexuality. He also provided Jones with alleged footage of people involved in sexual activity at Combs' home, which Jones believed was procured through hidden cameras throughout Diddy's properties, man. So he tried to get him to freak off on Stevie J. In order to win a Grammy. He went along with the whole damn album before he made the lawsuit. So it don't seem like he said no to none of that. And if he would have won a Grammy, he probably wouldn't have said a damn thing. But since he ain't win no Grammy, now he out here running his mouth, y'all. You to come back outside of work. I appreciate uh, you all for your love and support and everybody that knows me, etc. Thank you so much. Love. Yo, I don't know how I feel about this guy, man. When did he say no to any of that stuff that he a legend? Y'all need to listen at this too. Yo, shout out to Vlad. A few months ago, she kind of blacked out on you on Twitter that accused you of being gay. Listen, <laughs> I'm straight as an arrow. You know, when girls get mad, especially when girls get mad at me, nothing affects me. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I'm saying? What's, what she feels gonna affect me is she gonna say anything, make right. any lie out of her mouth. You know what I'm right. saying? Say, say That's getting a drug addict and yeah, all that yeah. stuff. Yeah, 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 I heard it all before. That ain't the first time I heard it all. I guess I'm about to be super rich if I'm hearing this shit. They say once you get super rich, that's when they say, yeah, this, yeah, that. At the end of the day, Jocelyn, nobody believes you, right? Listen, nobody believes you. But at the end of the day, we're going to still work. I'm not affected by that. You know well, yeah, you know, I mean, a yeah. straight You're not man, getting out the contract like that. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, a, a straight man shouldn't really be bothered if someone accused them of being gay. It's only if there's something going on that they Absolutely. Act, act defensive. Absolutely. I'm cool as a cucumber, man. You know what I'm saying? Every penis that she's been linked. Oh, hold on, hold, hold on, man. Wait a minute. What y'all just heard was Stevie J denying allegations about him being gay by his own baby mama, Jocelyn Hernandez, man. She said that Stevie was a fruity booty, man. Hold on, listen at this, y'all. Hold on, listen, listen. I think on a couple of occasions, you called Stevie gay on Twitter. I did. Yeah? Yeah, I have. Um, I, I, I actually interviewed Stevie uh, about that. I asked him that, you know, when we were in L.A. last time. And he goes, man, I'm straight as an arrow. <laughs> you know, uh, where I come why from... Why did you call him gay? Where I come from, um, I was I'm put, I was born in Puerto Rico, but I was raised in Miami, Fort Lauderdale. And we at the bottom of the map. We don't... Nobody has to go through us to get to another place. So we got our own rules. We know we, you know, guys call us bitches and hoes. You bitch, you hoe, you slut. So all we know how to do is say you faggot, you punk ass nigga. And that's how we speak. And you know. Oh man, she trying to cover that shit up. She said what she said for a reason. He got that cheesy grin. Like he willing to do something real nasty at the drop of a dime. He got that smile. Like it ain't nothing that he won't do. Oh my goodness. He got that grin to let you know that he in whatever is going down. Like you want to do missionary style? Like, yeah, whatever. He don't give a damn what it is. And he been rolling with Diddy for a long ass time. Now he on tape. Busting cheeks. And Diddy got him on camera, man. 
And y'all know what tripped me out? Hold on, let me get this set up real quick. Y'all need to see this right fast. Hold on, switch that up real quick. Switch it up. Okay. Yeah, put the, pull that up. Y'all know what really tripped me out, man? Meek Mill was label mates with Omarion. Oh the same dude in B2K with the Chris Stokes allegations. Rick Ross just had to have him on the label. It was Meek Mill, Stally, Omarion, and Wale. And Wale had to shut down some rumors they was going in on him bad, had him on tape. They had him on tape with his boo in the whole nine. My cousin has been dealing with Wale on and off for three years. He flew him up to DC last summer and we all went out to the stadium and a few other places. He stopped hearing from him and all of a sudden he posted his new baby on his page. The T is my cousin is a guy. He really should be ashamed. He's living a lie and really foul out here. But then again, it's probably why he's always paranoid and on edge, pick included. So they got Wale in the bed. Not the guy with his bae. With the homie. And not only that, not only that, but he's also label mates or was label mates with Omarion. And if Rick Ross is a corrections officer and Meek Mill in and out of jail, what type of after jail program did they link up with? Yo. <sighs> and that's why my question is, is it safe to say that hip hop all together as a whole is zesty, man. We talking about Africa Bambada is labeled the founder of hip hop. Is the origins of hip hop zesty? And that's the reason why all this stuff is coming out like this. That's my only explanation. It started from the roots. Y'all gotta see this, man. Yo, Reg, get the, get that set up. Let's not dish What's up, King Son? Man, you doing it, man. You deserve it, Daddy. You putting in that work. Proud of you. I love you. Yeah. What's up, King Son? <sighs> Meek Mill. He in the show. He in the pool with the booty. He, he got his ass tooted out. He parked on the side of the pool while them men over there jockeying. And did he like what he saw on the side of that motherfucking pool? Meek out there being caddy. He and that man hot tub and had the nerve to look back at it. What part of the game is that? He went to the barbershop, got lined up like Saucy Santana and hopped his ass up in Diddy's pool. Now he being complimented by that man. What is you doing there, Meek? Look at this, man. Hey, what's up, King Son? Man, you doing it, man. You deserve it, Daddy. You putting in that work. Proud of you. I love you. Yeah. Hey, what's up? If he if, is he there for business, man, he ain't got on no business suit. He ain't got no pen, no paper in his hand. Well, what's going on? He ain't in the booth. What he doing in that man pool? He going to bring the check to the pool. What part of the business is this? So you just got time to be out there floating in Diddy's waters at his house and you know what he like you know damn well what Diddy like and you all you all out there like a piece of meat just floating around trying to twerk something playing possum waiting for him to waiting for him to give you some attention 
Like, nigga, I know you see me in this pool. You see me over here. Been floating. This is my last time floating back and forth. This nigga don't speak to me. I'm gone. I'm going to float two more times. If he ain't trying to holler, I got to go. Oh. What in the hell was he doing in that man pool? Man. Y'all need to listen at this, yo. We're back with new allegations of sexual harassment and assault against Sean Diddy Combs. Rodney Lil Rod Jones, a producer on Combs' latest album, filed a lawsuit Monday. He alleges that Combs sexually harassed and assaulted him while he lived at several of Combs' homes. Jones also alleges Combs forced him to engage in unwelcome acts with... He said he lived in several of his homes. Like when did he move? He moved like, oh, must be a famine. He got a rag on his head. He trying to get all his belongings. Like I need this. I need that. I need my lotion. I need my, we move in the sky is falling. The sky is falling. He followed Diddy to several different residences and stayed the night every night. He lived with this man, ding dong, whoever at the door, he there. And you could put that right there and that over there. I think it was a housewife. Like when I come home, you better have my cookies in the oven. They better be fresh too. And wash your hands if you're going to get one. I guess daddy. This shit, he had men. He got them Fonsworth Bentley sex tapes. He got everybody in the act. Pharrell and Fonsworth Bentley, volume one, two, and three. The Jay-Z and Beyonce, the early days tapes. He got Lori Harvey on cam with his kids. Whatever skeezer his kids bring by, he probably got them on cam. Oh my goodness. Sex tape game crazy that's why they put jamie fox in the coma for speaking on this man collection listen at this but sex workers and that combs and his staff engaged in quote serious illegal activity he is seeking 30 million dollars an attorney for combs said jones quote reckless name dropping about events that are pure fiction and simply did not happen is nothing more than a transparent attempt to garner headlines Thanks for watching. Stay updated about Yo, breaking man. news and top. That is beyond wow, man. Beyond wow. Yo, wildest fantasy. Everybody in the music industry is on that shit, man. They all do the booty. That's what they talking about out here, man. Is y'all okay with that? Rather you okay with it or not. It is what it is. And it been that way. These brothers getting them secret societies or whatnot. And they explain to them how this shit gonna go. I always wondered. Meek Mill just get the keys to the vault. Why do they treat him so good? People don't even be feeling his music like that. And I ain't no Meek Mill hater. But you in the same group with the dude from B2K. How was that ever going to be gangster? Rick Ross was a corrections off and shout out to Rick Ross because he the biggest boss. But damn. They put on such a farce. A false narrative that is sickening, man. It's worse than CB4. It's worse than Chris Rock. And them other dudes that was a part of CB4, man. They made Omarion cut the braids and get a fade and put on some shades. Oh my goodness. Negro, please. The hardest label around. Whatever happened to Stally? He rapping with Kevin Durant. He about 6'5 and still can't dunk. Oh my goodness. They had Stally in the airport shook. He ain't even get on the plane. They was treating him like he was a human bomb or something. Oh, Marion on MG, whatever it is, Maybach music. They was label mates. And he cuffing on Omarion while he on the set. Wait a minute, y'all. Hold up. Get this together. Oh, 
Hold on, man. Oh my goodness. He wiped this nigga up. He out here running with O. He acting like he Tupac and he Suge Knight. Like how he paying for everything, man. He paying for everything. I got me a new man. I'm rolling with Ross now. Like what? That's right. I'm fucking with Ross. Like a, he put him on. He wiped up O and brought him into the fold. Even though all them allegations was out there, he still gave that man the opportunity. I want to see you with the boss, huh? You ain't never flipped the bird, but I still want you on my label. Why they all draped up, groped all over each other, man. And I know you're wondering what this got to do with Diddy, but shit, Diddy done started all of this stuff that these dudes out here doing, man. He the grandfather. He done trained about 90% of the dudes in the industry, man. And he ain't done training. Oh my goodness. Don't say he don't like fat boys. Y'all make it seem like Biggie was his first major artist. Maybe he got a BBW fetish. Oh my goodness. He like them big poppers. Every time you turn around, it's some big boy chasing behind Diddy. Don't say that's not his type, because we seen him with a dude with big breasts before, man. Oh my goodness. And he was like, they was in a jacuzzi and squeezing booties. With some Welch's grapes and some eggs and steaks. Shit, Jay-Z in the mix too. You better get them boys what they want. Fabulous. Man, don't even get me started on him. But damn, man, that it is what it is, man. These men. The main men that women be chasing. Don't even give a damn about all them women. They too busy on all in each other face smiling. You think they trying to look good for you? Hell no, they trying to look good for Diddy. Like I like that chain, your watch, you just your cologne, you got the beard. Oh my goodness. You look nice, daddy. I see you got the Louis Vuitton with the Gucci belt. Okay, I see you got style, daddy. I like that. Okay, turn, oh my God, look at you, you, the way you wearing them jeans, oh my God. Yo, give me a hug, playboy, you want a drink? What you doing, you chilling? Yo, what we gonna do, we, you know, we gonna go back to the crib, have grown man time. You know, you, me, Morris Chestnut, Jamie Foxx, we gonna play butt naked basketball. You down? No, cause the, the AC broke at the crib, we just gonna go outside, you know? Cool off, you know, eat popsicles or something. You with it? Let's go. Oh, man. The dev dev shit. Drake, all of them, man. All of them. My hip hop dreams is shattered. Is it safe to say that hip hop is, yes, indeed, zesty, man? Because oh it's a possibility. That that is really the case. Y'all need to hear this. John Diddy Combs, a music producer, is accusing hip hop mogul of sexually assaulting him and forcing him to have sex with prostitutes. But a lawyer for Combs called the events described in the lawsuit. How you gonna force a man to have sex with prostitutes? That's the dumbest lawsuit ever. Oh my he forced me to get cheeks. Usher come out the shower with them things swinging. You're like, you didn't know I had these, did you? Like, no, we didn't know you had those, man. That boy full of surprises. Forced them to have sex with a prostitute. That's like making, forcing somebody to eat DoorDash. Oh my goodness. Like I ordered you this sandwich, motherfucker, you gonna eat this shit. I paid my money, they delivered it, you gonna eat it. The hoes show up to the door. 
and he forced the bank. He mad as he's stomping up the stairs like, man, like you want me to do what? Like I want you to come down here and bang big booty Keisha. Like not, not her again. What type of shit is this, man? The Diddy ought to count the suit. He gonna be walking down the street butt naked for the rest of his life. The Diddy don't sue the pants off of him. The dumbest lawsuit ever. Listen at this. The new allegations against John Diddy Combs, a music producer, is accusing hip hop mogul of sexually assaulting him and forcing him to have sex with prostitutes. But a lawyer for Combs called the events described in the lawsuit pure fiction. This is now one of several sexual assault lawsuits filed against Combs in recent months, including a lawsuit from the R&B singer Cassie that was settled last year. To break this all down for us, I want to bring in trial attorney and ABC News contributor Brian Buckmeyer. So nice to see you. Always great to be here with you. So you've you've been covering this for for a while. I mean, you're familiar with Sean P. Uh, Diddy Combs. Not only does this lawsuit mention Diddy, it also includes other A-list celebrities. What stands out here to you? So if you see me looking down, I'm looking down at the 73-page complaint that was filed yesterday. In terms of allegations of... No, that ain't fair. That ain't even fair. Y'all can't... What, what y'all doing? Y'all can't have him answering zesty questions. That's a conflict of interest. He gonna make everything okay. He all about this type of talk. This is what he's went to school for. Listen at this, man. Celebrities were talking about Cuba Gooding Jr. being shown through still photos of what the complainant says they have videos of, of groping him. There are allegations of P. Diddy um, touching the genitalia and anus of the complainant. And also, if you look to the complaint here, there's a few Easter eggs here where it says the rapper redacted on Mr. Combs' yacht consorting with underage girls uh, and sex workers. And you look down to the redaction, it says, well, the person is a Philly rapper who dated uh, Nicki Minaj. I think that may be Meek Mills. And also says an R&B singer redacted in Mr. Combs' Los Angeles home, consorting with underage girls and sex worker. When you go down to the redaction, it says he's a Grammy Award-winning R&B singer who had trouble with law enforcement after assaulting a Bayesian billionaire. I don't know who's a billionaire from Barbados that we know that dated someone. That sounds like Chris Brown. So there's a lot of big names here. Oh, man, yo. This dude trying to sink the whole damn ship. He got Breezy involved. Now shit getting sticky. He said he was consulting with underage chicks on a yacht trying to get them to come back with Diddy. Yo, man. Hold on. It sounds... Hey, man. I wouldn't put none past. None of these weirdos. We got DJ Khaled. When his allegations gonna come out? With Jaden Smith, he y'all know what time he on. Chris Brown and Diddy, man. Machine Gun Kelly. And all them other weirdos in the game. Chris Brown strung the fuck out. Got the devil on his back and all that, man. Running with Diddy. Damn. Started gang banging on some, some California love shit. Out there hollering at the young shorties to bring them back to the Can y'all see him doing that? Chris Brown on some young chicks. He running with Diddy son. Y'all already know what time it is. You got these young bucks out here. And if Diddy really slid off with Lori Harvey, then he using his kids to bring back them bitches too, man. Drake already looked like a sneaky weirdo. I wouldn't leave him around a four year old. Oh my goodness. And Nicki Minaj in the mix, shit get weird. Cause all Nicki hang around is pedos. Hold on, y'all. Oh shit, I knew it. 
I freaking knew it. If she rolling with you or you rolling with her and that's just you in, you in the mix with her, you probably dealing with some kids, man. She the Barbie doll freak off with Nicki Minaj doll for your babies. She got your, your child thinking about a Minaj and all that. It's disgusting. She, she doing it for the kids with her Barbie shit. And all the men she be around be weirdos. So if she been with Diddy, Nicki Minaj reposted a TikTok of Jaguar Wright exposing Diddy's nasty behavior over the years. Jaguar Wright said on um, Tupac and Diddy was getting it in. This is crazy, man. I've been on here for like a whole hour. We ain't getting out one phone call. That is so damn embarrassing, man. But for the people that's watching, especially for the people that hit that like button, I appreciate y'all anyway, man. And for the people leaving them comments in the comment section, y'all appreciate it as well, man. I'm talking about everybody showing me some love. That's what it is. Gage Gore, what it do, dog? Monique Watt is kicking it. The Chicks. Angela Reddick, Deception Man Eater, what it do, dog? Pablo, Queen Shiva, Grace, Go Hard or No, nah. Nisi Q. Yo, I see y'all over there doing y'all thing, man. But um, we about to go ahead and wrap this up in a few minutes. I just want to show y'all a few more things before we go. And I'm going to go ahead and answer the question myself. And if you're watching the video after the live, Answer the question in the comment section and let me know. Is it safe to say that hip hop is indeed zesty, man? We gonna talk about it a little bit more. Okay, I want to see this real quick. Okay, listen at this. Both as Easter eggs and also just on the front pages of these allegations. Wow, just huge. Now, the lawsuit also claims the misconduct happened during the creation of Diddy's latest album, the Love Album, and is seeking, as we've mentioned, $30 million. Uh, the suit not only names a mogul, but includes his son and Universal Music Group, claiming there is an alleged RICO enterprise to enable his misconduct. Explain why the lawsuit goes beyond Diddy and what's kind of at stake here. This along with Cassie's uh, lawsuit that you talked about earlier that was settled reads a lot like what we saw in the R. Kelly case in the EDNY where they're talking about this being a criminal enterprise that's all feeding towards this one individual's uh, depravity of wanting drugs and sex and rock and roll, roll and everything in between. That every oh, it's, that's all I needed to hear, man. He, he basically broke it down for y'all. They doing the R. Kelly to Diddy, man. And somebody going to have to stop this because it's getting out of hand. It's getting way out of hand. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? What up, boy? This is old man. How you doing? Oh, what it do, brother, man? We over here talking about Diddy. They say he don't smash Stevie J, Meek Mill, Usher, and he got all this on tape. How you feel about all this stuff, man? Man, I always wondered how, how Meek Mill stayed rich, to be honest. It kind of makes sense now. You that said he, he the head rich. prostitute in charge? He won a... Matter of fact, I don't think you can really make it in the music or entertainment industry without being zesty. Like, I think if you straight, something happened to you like Bernie and pop smoke a few other entertainers you know like they they weed out the ones that don't want to participate you mean the ones that don't want to participate no more because oh in order to nah, get think, in order to get in front of that camera i don't give a damn who you is especially if you in a movie and they got you on television shows and you you big time shit if you on that if you got a movie at blockbusters your ass is in there. I, I think they get some of them in different ways, though. You know, they don't make some go through the zesty door. Like, they they get the dead parent door, like Kanye and, you know, Jay Hudson, you know. Yeah, you know, I think the whole, you know, there's the bottom and there's the top. You know, you got the people at the bottom of the pyramid, 
but the people at the top it's a real tight knit circle you know what i'm saying like you got to be with it or you not and, and all actuality though i think is after you get i say after you get like more than 20 million i think your sexual preferences just gotta change like you just get weird after that man i think it's all about how much do you want to maintain a relationship with somebody how much do you want to be friends you know if you want to be in that circle are you really my friend or how good of a friend are you and sometimes i believe they have flames little staycations and shit like oh for this time i'm dating meek mill allegedly they have their own like month or a couple of weeks so they have flings and they keep in touch i i think it's something to it too when they get you out of prison because you know there's most zesty rappers that go to prison get it out i mean you can even go back to tupac i'm out they got that man up out of prison and he was facing i don't know how many years this and that but they they pull them strings and get you free yeah well the music industry and the prison system is basically ran by the same people especially when it comes to hip hop that's why you got the hip hop police yeah. yeah man it's just a big old jailhouse I guess the music industry is a big old jailhouse oh and they in there it's, it, the survival it's of the really fittest a, I don't think it's a jailhouse it's more like a like like for mind shaping for programming to a certain extent mm, I don't think it's that deep I think it's a big old jailhouse and Diddy he a big dog in there you know he got all the snacks all the cigarettes all the cookies them niggas going by his cell whatever he want they gonna do it cause they know he got all the bologna the cheese the Vienna sausages all the shit niggas need in order to make it in jail and uh, that, it's just psychological cause people are repeat behaviors that they see even if they don't know the reason then behind the behaviors they'll still repeat it even if it's to their detriment sometimes I hear what you're saying but I don't think it's that deep brother I think that these it's, men it's, it's they, a little deeper for real hey man I think they in that society to where you know they all under the same umbrella either you with it or you not is you a part of our brotherhood or no that's what it boils down to, man. You bad boy in the family. If you if you with the family, then you got to participate in the type of shit we do, man. And that go for everybody that ever been on his label. Yeah, that is true, because uh, he, he didn't drove some, some people straight mad. Drove them straight mad, insane in the brain, brother. And thank you so much for your phone call, man. Oh, hold on. My bad. What you was about to say? We all is. What's up? What's up? What's up? I was just going to ask you a question, though. Like, why you think Diddy been allowed to operate like this for so long? Because this ain't like it just started or anything like that. Like, he, he done had a 30-year run with this shit. I mean, you know, but it's the Man, there. it's all about the new world order, man. The old way have to be destroyed diddy came up in the toxic masculinity era and 90 percent of that over toxic macho masculinism was extra zesty demeaning women disrespecting women the um exploitation of women and machoism gangsterism and all that all that shit was extremely zesty but the the way has changed times has changed that type of lifestyle and that type of philosophy can get you put behind bars remember back in the 70s when pimping was in and you could openly be a pimp like the thing to do was to be a pimp you try to do that shit nowadays that's what you call sex trafficking and it is a major offense but back in the day it was a normal thing bro yeah, there's still you got brothels in Nevada right now. You know, you can pull up to have sex with women from down there anywhere in the world. We, don't, we ain't even know about all that. You, 
man, whatever you got going on over there, just make sure you got <laughs> extra napkins, man, because you all over the place with this conversation. And we appreciate your phone call. Stop being weird, man. We love you to death. And don't be no stranger. We're going to holler at you later. Real talk, man. You be good out there. Oh, my God. See, man, I try not to be an ugly person, man. I try to be a nice guy. But these little niggas keep fucking with me, man. Oh my I try to be a good nigga. A nigga with three strikes, they want me to go back, man. I feel like Ving Rames and Baby Boy. Okay, let me pull this up real quick. Yo, y'all stay tuned because we got a whole lot of exciting things that we gonna be talking about. I think this is interesting, man. Y'all need to feel me on this. The all about the Benjamin lyrics. He said, look at this, y'all. He said, what y'all want to do? Want to be ballers, shot callers, brawlers? Who be dipping in the bins with the spoilers? On the low from the Jake and the Taurus. Trying to get my hands on some grants like Horace. Yeah, I'm living the raw deal. Three course meals, spaghetti, fettuccine, and veal. But still, everything's real in the field. And what you can't have now, leave in your will. But don't knock me for trying to bury seven zeros over and read the Janeiro. Ain't nobody's hero, but I want to be heard. On your hot 97 every day, that's my word. Swimming in women with their own condominiums. Five plus five. Who drive millenniums? It's all about the Benjamins. What? I get a 50 pounder bag of unk for the mutts. Five carrots on my hands with the cuts and something European chromed out with the clutch. What? He been stunting for a long time. He been showing you how to do this, son, for a long time, man. Hold on. He said, I want to hold figures. F being a broke igga. Drink malt liquor, driving a broke vigor. I'm with most sippers. Watch my gold diggers. Rocking Jabol denims with gold zippers. Lost your touch. We kept ours. Popping crystal. Freaking the three quarter reptiles. Enormous cream forest green. Binge Jeep for my team. So while you sleep, I'm a scheme. You see through. That's why nobody never going to believe you. You should do it. We do stack chips like Hebrews. Don't let the melody intrigue you. Because I leave you. I'm only here for that green paper with the eagle. Damn, them boys was spitting. They don't rap like that no more. Hold up. Said, pack a pistol in the AC coupe. That's dark brown woo. Pinky ring. Gun dollars with the man singing. Italian music down the river with your chick clinging. To my bizalls, players, you mad and false. Acting hard when you was pussy as RuPaul's. Hold on, little Kim part. Wanna rumble with the B, huh? Huh? Throw a hex on the whole family. Dressed in all black like the Omen. Have your friends singing this one for my homie. Damn, that shit was trash. But either way. Hold on. I want to hear this real quick. Hold on. Spit spit that bar one, one time, man. He said, I've been had skills. Chris style spills. High bills in Brazil. A bottom mill. Ice grill. That's right. Make it hard to figure me. Liquor be kicking me in my asshole. Undercovers Donnie Brasco. Left my East Coast girl to Bentley to twirl. My West Coast shorty puts the Chrome 740. Rocking Red Man and Naughty. Oh, where my kitty cat? Half a brick of yay in the bra. Where her titties at? Oh my goodness. Come on, man. And that's what makes me so mad about this whole situation. I can't enjoy this music the way I once did. This classical, timeless music is all flushed down the toilet due to diddy shitty allegations oh man goodness. i mean 
I love this man's whole catalog. Hold up. We need to see this real quick, man. Cause um, he dropped a lot of albums. And a lot of them was fire, man. You play this stuff at the barbecue. Everybody gonna have a good time. The whole, all of the shit he ever dropped, man. He got R&B hits, timeless classic, black music, and you can't deny it. He got 112, he got R&B groups, he got hip hop, R&B, you name it. He put Big and Mac together and came out with the Big Mac album. All for what? It's all over. His whole cat. They coming for the whole catalog, y'all. They coming for it all. They coming for the Biggie catalog, Mace. They coming for the Locks catalog, his catalog, Faith. They gonna do his ass just like R. Kelly. Oh my goodness. They coming for him, man. It's all over. Game over. They they want it all. From his first album to his last album, the little groups he was working with on the side, Diddy's Bad Boy Records accused of not paying boy group B5. Y'all remember that shit? Diddy's Bad Boy Records accused of not paying boy group B5. I never seen a penny from all albums. I forgot all about B5, man. Wait a minute. Diddy. He ain't had not one dark skin brother in the group. A bunch of a bunch of busy bones. What the B stand for busy? Not one brother. They all frail. Jennifer Lopez little cousins he gave them a record deal Barriqua 5 man shout out to my body was out there hey Diddy would do it for you for the low like whatever yo just get me on the mic they all came with their Hawaiian shirts on and shit and Michael Jackson come get your nephews and all that I guarantee all they last name Jackson B5. Cause he thinking, I wouldn't have paid them niggas neither. Oh my goodness. Pay y'all for what? To look weak? Out of here. Had them all living in the crib. He had the time of his life. Like, I know y'all here. I can smell y'all little stinking asses. Oh my goodness. You know, somebody spray some for Breeze, man. Laval Ball, come get your nephew, man. Got Laval Ball nephews in there, man. Look at this nigga, man. Yeah, R&B sing your girl to death and sell you a bag of yayo, yeah, man. Like this is for you, Papa. This nigga don't went and turned into a man. Look, he don't did the whole trans. But that's Negro Hino there. Get them dudes off the screen. They said they ain't getting out one dime out of Diddy. He ain't paid them boys not one red cent. July 19th marked the 15th anniversary of the release of B5. The group saw a moderate success from their Jackson 5 cover song, All I Do. The Disney Channel appearances in the slot on the screen for tour alongside Bow Wow and Omarion. Oh he threw them boys in the booty gauntlet. Like, oh, y'all want to be ballers, shot callers, brawlers? Get your ass out there with Omarion. And watch when Bow Wow snap on y'all for looking at his man. Put them in the booty bandit tour. Raz B, B2, all the booty boys. B2K, B5, the just bootied up. Them niggas bootied up. Oh my goodness. 
all on tour. Them young girls screaming. They jumping up and down. And them niggas ain't even think about none of them girls on that tour. They be like, ew. Like she kissed me, hand me my Lysol wipes. Look at this. But in the revealing Instagram post, the group's youngest member, Brian Breeding. What the fuck? Oh my goodness. Like I got 18 kids and I'm only 12 years old. Brian Breeding. Like I swear the baby is mine, it's mine, mom. We don't need to do the test. I, I got this, mom. I this what I do. It's named Brian Breeding. Sound like something out of a, a science fiction movie, man. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Um, yes, I was just calling um the live show. Oh, so we Williams. not talking about Wendy Williams, Ma. You called in too late, but I appreciate the fact that you called in. We on a whole nother show, but you did call in, and I want to thank you for that. But next time, make sure we live when you call. I'm doing a whole nother show, but I love you to death, sister. And don't be no stranger. Make sure you call back the next time we live. Real talk, man. Thank her so much for her phone call. But like I was saying, man. This guy, Diddy, is on a whole nother level with his, man. He got shot in the ass for messing around with Tupac. The Keefe D said when they showed up to this party, they was basically a couple. Like they was there together like they went out together and Tupac was very smitten by this young man he was going to sign the bad boy he wanted to get on his label they was on it like that and Biggie was going to be his little mans it was going to be the Tupac show and Biggie was going to be his little hype man and Diddy was, they was all ready to do it. <sighs> Tupac got arrested for having a freak off oh with some goodness. dudes. And there was only one girl in the room, man. Hold on, look at this. I hate to talk about this again. But this chick said, it was Tupac and a whole bunch of men. The woman who accused Tupac and his associates in 93 recently opened up about the incident for the first time on camera. Jackson revealed she spent the trial and seclusion due to overwhelming media attention and death threats. Said she was a victim of scrape. She said, I was bought in. My testimony was whisked out. So that's how they was getting down, man. There, it'd be a whole bunch of dudes listening to Thug Passion. Next thing you know, that one chick gonna catch hell. Hold up. Hold on. Look at this, man. It's all starting to make sense, man. Why they was beefing like that? Cause Tupac, when he was with the Digital Underground, they had him coming out there with pantyhose on, man. They had him coming out there with 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 women's underwear. Hold on. Shit getting zestier than ever, man. Hold on, man. I don't even want to show y'all the picture. Oh, hell no. I can't show y'all the picture. This nigga need a bikini wax and everything, man. I can't show y'all that. Tupac was. This nigga had on some some woman's thongs, yo. He already took the picture in the tub. With his legs gapped open. Like, come on with it looking so vulnerable and if he was rolling with Diddy back then 
man, ain't no telling what the hell. And they saying that Shock G was really Al B. Shaw. Oh so that explains why he wore the nose so people wouldn't know that he was Al B. Shaw. Look what he got on. He got a chain on like he young thug and that was way back in the 90s. They all look like some weirdos. Let's be real. Come on, man. I ain't gonna keep on going with pop. Cause that'd be a whole nother video. But I say all that to say that once upon a time, him and Diddy, that whatever they had, it went sour. It was bitter, it was vicious, and Tupac found himself another man. Oh my goodness. The same way when Diddy Baby Mamas got mad and they start messing with Suge, when Misa felt like she wanted to be with a better man, she ran to Suge. Tupac was Diddy's man, and when he got mad, he ran to Suge. Like whatever Diddy can't afford, Death Row gonna provide. Like West Side till I die. You hurt me, nigga. You hurt me. Oh. He was acting like a woman scorned. Like, how you gonna leave me for that fat bitch? Oh my goodness. Oh, you gonna mess around? You gonna leave me for that fat motherfucker, Biggie? He better than me. You broke my heart, Puff. Yo, I hope Diddy ain't got no tapes on Pop. Oh my Cause if he do, man, the whole world gonna, it's gonna be a sad day in America, man. If he got tapes, VHS tapes on Pop, them thug life days, pissy drunk and Biggie crawling. Oh my like I see you crawling, can you get some more? He poured a Hennessy and Biggie mouth while he on the ground butt naked. And this one for my nigga, my dog. Tupac go to the bathroom and Diddy filming him the whole time he's standing on the toilet. He got them old school Method Man freak offs, the Bone Thugs, 3 6 Mafia freak off tape. And Gangsta Boo, they had to call the Amber Lambs. Allegedly, man. Rest in peace to Gangsta Boo. He got them E-40, Sugar T, all them sex tapes. The Selly Cell and um, Drew Down sex tapes. Oh my goodness. I got five on it. They all put $5 on your bare ass. I guess a Trezane going down at the, his house. I got five on it. Like five to smash and 20 to dash. The whole music industry zesty, man. Rap a lot. It'd be some dude with a wig on, face full of makeup, rapping his ass off. The microphone smoking. I get down for the rip side, from the rip side to the rip side. Tell me if you want to ride with the one, with the five, with the four, with the four, with the motherfucking five. Like he is totally rapping his ass off. Yo, hello, hello. Who this is, man? Hello. Hey, what's going on? We ain't talking about Wendy Williams. We talking about Diddy. Is that okay with you? Oh, yeah, that's good. No doubt, man. Yo, what you got to say about all this? They saying he don't smash Stevie J on tape. <laughs> and Meek Mill, too. What you got to say about that? Hey, look. <laughs> Stevie J. Hey, look, I believe it because remember on, on um, Love and Hip Hop, Jocelyn was saying that Stevie J liked to get funny. He liked to get down with the get down. Yes. He, like the, he, he all like about the booty. the booty. 
Yes, yes, yes. So I mean, like, up oh, it won't be four fetch. And then you know he was he was with Bad Boy for the long time. He was with their little record label, like all the way when when he was with the little videos, all in the videos and stuff with that um that that uh, that one video. I remember seeing CBJ in the video, all dancing and stuff. I said, "Oh, that's CBJ." That um, I don't know what they that um that one that one that one song. Yes. Man, he cheesy, he sneaky, he'll, he'll get with your chick, you would never know about it, he mischievous, he just, and they said he was on tape with a white, with a white boy and all that. Ain't no telling. I don't put nothing past none of them. I don't put nothing past none of them. They real, they cheesy, the way they move, they real sneaky, like, they they real, like, what they call it smooth. They, they move like a they move like a snake. Like, you know, like they real. They call it. They real smooth. Like what they call it, the smooth operator. Yo, they I don't get. Smooth. I don't get how he married Faith Evans, even though Biggie was his man's. That make you wonder how long he was with Faith. Was he smashing Faith when she was still with Biggie? Oh my right, right. And they was all in under that little umbrella. They was all. Like right, they go way back together. So that makes for you to like, circle yeah. back and marry somebody, y'all had to have a history before. This ain't just some new shit. Y'all yes. just found each other again. Right, right, right. Y'all didn't just re y'all just rekindled something. Now that, that they older, he probably always right. wanted her to be his wife. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They was been fooling around. They was been messing around. He made her cover the Biggie tattoo on her titty. Like, I don't want to see that. Get that nigga name off of you. Yo, yes. And then I heard it through the great. Yo, hello. What happened to our phone, man? Yo, ma, we don't know what happened to your phone, but you're going to have to get it together. But in the meantime, thank you so much for your phone call. I really do appreciate you calling. Um, and make sure you call back the next time we go live. Real talk, man. Okay, let, let's do this real quick. Let, let's talk about this real, real fast, man. They saying that Diddy squeezed this man cheese oh my on tape. And he been a real freaky deaky character on the scene for a minute. And he... He gets down. He a producer. He'll put a song together. They got chemistry up there in the studio. He know what time it is. When you working with Diddy, and you know what type of man he is. I guess he felt like he had to be a cowboy for the booty. Oh my the Ving Rames of R and B. The Ving Rames. Sneak, sneak up from you behind, grab you by your neck, lick your head like a, a milk dud, and make you get on your knees and fix it, man. The industry booty goon. You snatch either way it goes. Somebody gonna get snatched. They hold on, man. The fuck? Oh my goodness. Y'all there with Benzino? And y'all heard what they said about Benzino, man. Hold up, yo. Oh, hell to the no. That boy Benzino done already got exposed. And that Stevie J man's in them. They out there wilding in the A-Town. Got real, real buff and still got a soft heart. Got real, real buff and still delicate. Ain't no wrong with me, man. I'm the manliest, manliest man. Ooh. 
got muscles, muscles coming out my face. You never seen a man as manly as manly as me, man. The buff is tough is the roughest done dutter the, the sergeant booty general, man. Allegedly. I don't know why they doing Benzino like that. But they had he out there. He wilding in the A. Doing the absolute most out there. 60 years old. He worse than Quincy Jones, man. Y'all here living worse than Quincy Jones with a splash of Mr. C. Is that Safari on some zesty sh- Come on, man. This shit is crazy, man. That Yo, get that off the screen. That's why my question is. Because Benzino... He started the Source magazine. He definitely hip hop. He solidified a hip hop legend. Benzino, he all the way in there with hip hop, man. And you can't say that he's not. And that's why my question is, is it safe to say that hip hop as a whole, you listen to rap, trap, however you want to cut it. If they rhyming, and it got a beat, a bop to it. Hip hop. Is it safe to say that it is indeed zesty, man? Because they hit Meek Mill with these allegations. And look how he went about it. Meek Mill denies claims in social media, speculates if he's the Philadelphia rapper reportedly listed in a new lawsuit against Diddy, man. Meek Mill got on Twitter. Early Wednesday, the Dreams and Nightmares rapper seemed to deny any involvement in the recent lawsuit against Diddy by a former male employee. As reported earlier this week, Rodney Jones, also known as Lil Rod, accused Combs of sexual assault and harassment in the new $30 million lawsuit. Jones claimed that both Diddy and his associates subjected him to unwanted advances on more than one occasion. Jones is suing Diddy, his son Justin Combs, and other people as well as various record execs. Attorneys for Diddy and Justin Combs have reacted to the lawsuit, denying the allegations and labeling Jones a liar. The 73-page lawsuit name drops several celebrities, including Stevie J and Diddy's on and off again Bay, Young Miami. Stevie has already called any allegations listed false in a statement. But Young Miami is implicated in this stuff too, man. Said the rapper on Mr. Cone's yacht, consorting with underage girls, sex workers, and meanwhile, the footnote state rappers is a Philadelphia rapper who dated Nicki Minaj. So wait a minute. They pull up on the coast of Costa Rica oh my in the yacht. And all the young girls from the island go crazy. Oh, and mom, it's them, the boats. There's the boats. Oh my the boy come back for young girl. Go get the boats. Like Tanya! Yes, mama. The boat coming down the ocean. Like, oh, let me go get pretty. When they see Diddy Yacht coming, they blow the horn. The whole town is on alert. Like, big money, big money. They start pulling out them food trucks and shit. Park that shit right on the shore. Like it smell good in the motherfucker every time we pull up in this bitch. They got the food trucks. They making um, hats and doing all that shit. Meek Mill get off the boat. Hollering at all the little shorties on the damn island, man. Like we taking them to Epstein's or what? He talking all loud. Putting their business out in the street. Like, damn, homie, learn how to whisper. Like, we taking these hoes to Epstein's or what? 
Like, come on, man. You just told everybody what we here doing and all that. Epstein said he gonna give us 1500 a head. You figure we get about 20 bitches, take them to Epstein, we gonna come up on like uh, 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 200 million dollars. Oh what they do, show that? He get off the boat on a motorbike and scare the shit out of the locals, man. Oh my God, this is beyond crazy. He pull up on the boat and scoop up all the chicks in your village, man. All the warriors and shit, they crying on the beach. When that boat pull off, they show, they throwing spears and shit. Like, you motherfucker. Oh they got their bows and arrows. Give her back. Give her back. Like, it's too late, motherfucker. Diddy let off a warning shot. They run back in the bushes, man. Oh A modern day slavery, man. Look at this. Note that Meek Mill is a rapper from Philly who publicly dated Nicki Minaj. So he basically talking about Meek Mill right there. Line number 71 on page 13 of the doc alleges Mr. Comb informed Mr. Jones that he had engaged in sexual intercourse with rapper, R&B singer, and Stevie J. Come on, man. He said he did the booty with Stevie. Oh my goodness. Man, who was cheeking? Who? Man, they, they out here cheeking with each other, man. I just. Come on, man. Stevie J and Diddy. Man, all I could do is shake my head. But I ain't about to go into further details about whatever they got going on. All I could say is this. Matter of fact, let me show y'all some love before I get up out of here real quick, man, because I'm going to just answer this question and keep it moving. It's the video already zesty. They saying allegedly that Diddy smashed Stevie J on cam. He, homie showed him the tape. Like, there goes Stevie getting schmidashed. He got Meek Mill on the island hollering at young chicks, man. What it do? How y'all doing out there? Mara Arcana, Monique Watt. What's up, man? I'm Tivius Banks, the Chicks, Chitlin Juice, Ralph Whistling, Lone Wolf. Let me go ahead and answer this question and get out of here real quick, man. So much love for y'all. Sherry Charleston, Sherry Hand, Perfectly Imperfect, the whole family, man. Okay. Is it safe to say that hip hop? is indeed zesty if i say that that means it will be safe to say that every person living in the u.s or anywhere in the world is zesty because we all been affected by hip-hop man we've been consuming it not knowing what's in the ingredients and now we suffering the consequences man it's sort of like people that smoke cigarettes been ingesting it for so long now you infected by the residue and the results we all been consuming hip-hop man we all listen to a zesty lying ass rapper talking about how hard they is when they know damn well that they are frail yo hello hello who this is man well, how you doing tonight Oh, man, I'm doing amazing. We over here talking about P. Diddy. Did you call in and talk about that? Yeah, that's what I'm calling to talk about. But you got up here now. Oh, is yeah. Is it safe to say that hip hop is indeed zesty? Yeah. How do you feel about all this? Because I'm confused. Uh, you know, the men love booty now. You know, uh, the ladies love the money. And the men love the men now. And, you know, I think we're living in our last days, you know, as far as the Bible scripture. Don't you think so? They've been saying that since, like, the 1800s. It. <laughs> I know. I, you're so crazy. I know they've been saying that for a long time, though. But I think we're coming to the end. 
I think this is it. This is for like Solomon Gamala, the uh, the city that got burned down. I know you know about that also. But you know what I was calling about? How you look? You yes. have a picture of yourself. Oh man, yo, I'm really contemplating. So I, I don't on... mean no harm. I know you talking about these freaks on there and stuff like that. You know, look creepy on there. You know, um, doing their little thing. Well, you yeah, man. Going, you know. I definitely got a Facebook. People ask me that all the time, and I'd be like, "Yeah, you know, people don't hit me up on Facebook. I'm on there, you know, pictures and okay. all. So yeah, I'm definitely on you, FB." You sound like you have something. You be having me laugh, and I be trying to go to sleep, and I be choking, you know, trying to get up and laughing at you. You know, you're really funny. You're a funny guy. You said you, you know, be over there that. choking and all that. <laughs> Yeah, I be choking, you know, you know, I've been listening to you, trying to, you know, read and listen to you also, and it, 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 the things you say, it just be so funny, you know, something like a Cat William thing, you know, because that's my favorite, you know, comedian. Yeah, I'm from New Orleans, I'm getting ready for the show, but you funny too. You know, you ought to try that out. I'm not trying to take over your show and talk about nothing else, though, but you, you're a comedian yourself, you know? I see what you're trying to do, man. You call up here from New Orleans. You working that magic. Got me falling in love and all that stuff. I ain't going to fall for it, man. I had it happen before to where I was madly in love. Y'all women, y'all ain't slick. You call up here with the silky voice. You probably been drinking hot chocolate or whatever you've been doing to get your voice to sound like that. Whatever it is, it sounds amazing. And I will not be hooked or smitten by you. <laughs> mm-hmm. I see what you're doing. Got me over here you're looking so at funny. wedding rings and shit. I'm all on the screen looking at wedding rings. Are you looking at wedding rings? Oh, you're you okay. trying to be funny, man. I will not Get have you. a bubblegum ring. We just fine. This is a bubblegum ring. And, and, and you humble. Rock around it, and I'm going to talk about it. You know, I'm going to talk over it for days. That's you, all I need. You got me over here thinking, man. I'm looking at wedding Thank dresses. You what you thinking about? All that stuff, man. Because I'm getting older. And you know, we ain't getting no younger. We might as well do Boy, it. I'm, I, over, I'm over Boy, here. I ain't trying to turn like no P. Diddy in them, though, you know? Yeah, <laughs> man. We ain't trying to end up like that. We need to just no, go ahead like and, um, and do the thing. Do the damn thing. You had thing, to laugh man. about the <laughs> You had to choke it. I was, I was trying to go to sleep. And you think about a boat coming and uh, the boat going through. <laughs> hey, you can only imagine. You can only imagine. That's how it go. They on them yachts. They pulling up. Ain't no telling what third world country they going to pull up to. <laughs> and them locals, is they, they got all that money. Them people, they waiting. <laughs> you are so funny. You are so funny. I think you're the, the second best comedian in the world to me besides Cat Williams. Oh man, you I know what? A, I read a vote. I read a vote for you for that one. So you funny yourself. Oh man, like you, you know what, man? I'm over here smiling so hard. You don't make me break character. I can't well, even telling, keep it together. Well, I'm telling man. you the truth. I'm oh telling, man, I'm telling you the truth though. That is amazing, man. Yo, like I said, yeah. I got a Facebook. We could definitely be uh -huh. friends, be cool, and all that, man. And I appreciate okay. your phone calls. And don't and be I no stranger. So much. Oh, man, so much love you. for you, ma. No doubt, oh, okay. man. Make sure you call back, cause I'm, I'm looking forward to talking to you again, real talk. And we gonna holler. At you later trying to get me in trouble oh, okay, and all then. that. All right, take care, man. She's trying to be funny. I ain't falling for that. Yo, hello, hello. Hey. Who this is, man? Hey, Sean, this is Valerie. What's going on, Valerie? Did you hear what just happened? How she was trying to get me <laughs> caught up? Oh my goodness. I swear you cracked me up. I'm on the same page as her. You are hysterical. I oh. love your show. Look. I just got a job, and when I get my first paycheck, I'm going to join your um, your uh, YouTube, because I think you're amazing. You know what? And that's all I need. That's the type of love that any man will want. I'm going to do it because you bring the heat. But listen, I want to say this. I absolutely think Diddy is guilty. He is a butt puncher. They like dipping in the doo-doo because they ain't getting nobody pregnant. It's a power move. And I'm a massage therapist by trade. And I know it's a nerve that go up your butt. And once they hit that nerve that go up to the butt, there's something going on. 
it switch you up. <laughs> you said like once they hit the nerve, they just go crazy. Like yeah, yeah, it's, it's yeah, yeah. It's a power thing. It's a power thing up that anus, and that's what they're doing. And they're not getting people pregnant, and they got enough money to cover up all their diseases and their nastiness. But now everything is coming out. So it's so a zesty, zesty button that. that they be pushing. Yeah, he's zesty all day. He is zesty. Damn, man. <laughs> but you could say that about any brother in America and people would nod their head like, yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. Yep, him right there. It don't right, matter but they what, don't who believe you it are. about these superstars, but they, they, they're zesty. They're, all their, their uh, activity is being exposed because, you know, that's the accepted way now to go out here and just, you know, love whatever, identify however. You want to be a dog? Okay, you a dog. So <laughs> people identifying how they want to identify, they doing what they want to do. You know what, my, it's all starting to make sense to me. Why do them billionaires like to get them boats? That's because they like to venture out and find yeah, themselves they can do somewhere. secret things and yeah, things we can never do because we, our money ain't that long. So they can go hide out. They can do all kinds of trickery and nasty stuff and shamefully do things to children and uh, all these nasty things. They might be having sex with animals. We don't know. They it's gonna pull up, gonna come out. Pull up to an island or the coast of somewhere and just camp out, and the locals gonna come with bread and they whole families. Yes, and shit. think they having a good time. They out here savagely raping and doing all kinds of debauchery bestiality they might be having sex with dead bodies you don't know what these folks Yo, do they drinking just, baby blood come on just like the pirates of old and you need to cut it yeah. out with all there ain't nobody drinking no baby you you took it too far <laughs> look, you better look up adrenochrome baby you know what we ain't even doing give that. you a different kind of energy yes they do drink that blood too you now you got me over here for now you being weird <laughs> You was cool at first. You, you talking you about fact. people drinking, man. They that are is weird. Sick. They are weird people. We talking about weird people. They do weird things, Sean. They do. I don't want to go that far. You went too far okay. left. We trying okay. to keep it I'm, PG-13. <laughs> that was wrong. I enjoy talking to you, though. And Thank I you for taking talking my call. To you as well, my, and I don't want you to be no strange, man. You got to make sure I you won't. call back. Because your conversation is everything. And we love you to death. Real talk. We gonna holler at you I love you, you too, soon. and I'm gonna join your YouTube. Thank oh, you, man. Sean. Have thank a good evening. Thank you so much. You too, beautiful. Take care, no Ooh. doubt. Yo, man, thank her so much for her phone call. I, I really do appreciate her because brothers don't get treated nicely all the time. Oh my goodness. Sometimes brothers get treated real bad and it's always good to have sisters that showing you mad love, man. I'm over here emotionally in tears. And I won't take none of y'all beautiful queens or none of my brothers out there for granted, man, because somebody need to be the liberator and put a stop to this madness. Or if not stop it, be able to cope with this madness. Because I was under the impression that Bad Boy was a hardcore hip hop label that was all about the real shit. No time for fake ones. Sip some Chris style with these real ones from East to West Coast spread love, son. And while y'all keep talking, we counting bank funds. I was all right with that. Money, power, respect. He had the anthems for the streets, man. They saying that he was doing the booty. Oh my goodness. With French mom. Max B was in jail for a long time, man, and came home. Hold on. And shout out to Max B. When Max B came home from jail, he was running with Jim Jones in the bird, the Purple City Bird Game. That was his man's. Jim Jones and Max was making the hits. Y'all remember that? And then Max B had a falling out with Jim Jones and started messing with French Montana. He left one light skin for another light skin. He started running with another dude. 
Is this making sense to y'all? Man. And shout out to Jim Jones. But I don't see how a man could switch with another man like that. What was it really all about? What time was they on? Because for him to be running with Max and then somehow he started running with Akon. Hold on. Akon was his man's. He just swear. How do you hop from man to man? I swear they be having. It seemed like to me. They be having flames or flings. Like they link up for a time. It's like sort of like they dated. Once upon a time he was with. Hypothetically speaking, if French Montana was a female. You could follow the paper trail. Gucci couldn't stand his ass. Like get him the fuck out of here, man. He was even with Gucci once upon a time. He ain't like the way he was moving. He ain't like nothing. He was trying to steal his swag. Gucci robbed his ass and sent him back to NYC broke. He, <laughs> he robbed him and sent him back home with no money. Santa denies getting robbed by Gucci Mane over a $5,000 verse. He trying to get close to anybody that's a somebody. All up in the mix, trying to be Drake. And finally landed on the baller that he like. On some male groupie type of shit, man. Hold on. The same way Max B before he went to jail was switching niggas. This man though went from who hasn't he been around? Been with Kylie, Rick Ross, he just in the mix. Whoever hot. Here he go. <sighs> ready to ready to play, man. Ready to play. Look at his face, man. Can you imagine him staying the night with Diddy? Oh my it's going to be a wild night. Coach or vote your mother. Worse than DJ drama. Own all the gas stations, own all the liquor stores. They own all the corner stores. They own all the bodegas. Own every damn thing. Now, now they own the they, they own all the, the whole culture. We the best. This nigga in the hospital with booty burns and bruises, man. Get him out of here. But damn, all of this stuff is alleged that I'm talking about. It's all alleged allegations and speculations. We don't know this stuff for sure. Listen the at this. Suit not only names a mogul, but includes his son and Universal Music Group claiming there is an alleged RICO enterprise to enable his misconduct. Explain why the lawsuit goes beyond Diddy and what's kind of at stake here. This along with Cassie's uh, lawsuit that you talked about earlier that was settled reads a lot like what we saw in the R. Kelly case in the EDNY where they're talking about this being a criminal enterprise that's all feeding towards this one individual's uh, depravity of wanting drugs and sex and rock and roll, roll and everything in between that everyone seemed to know and go out and facilitate what Sean Diddy Combs wanted. Even in part of these allegations or these complaints, they call his chief of staff the Ghislaine Maxwell to P. Diddy's uh, Jeffrey Epstein, saying that this was a total sexual enterprise to feed into uh, his desires. And we want to note that Diddy has denied all claims against him, but this can't possibly help his brand. Like, how do, where do you see this going, and, and, and where do you see this lawsuit going? 
again, I draw the comparison to, to that of R. Kelly, where there might have been rumors in the background. There were lawsuits that were settled. There were whispers uh, behind closed doors. But as those whispers start to grow and grow and get louder, you potentially could see greater civil litigation. They're saying in this case they want to fight it. Potentially we see a, a, a jury trial out of here. Man. Grown people going to do what grown people going to do. Now, when you talking about kids, that's something different. This man, Lil Rod, is 40 something years old. A grown ass man with kids. If he with it, he with it. If he want to see Usher come out with no bra on, and he going to sit back and watch, that's on him. Meek Mill and all these people, they grown. Stevie J, I don't want to believe it. But that's the rumor that's out here that he on tape. And Meek Mill, he implicated. They better not ever say nothing about Jay-Z because that's when it's going to get ugly. Hold on, look at this, y'all. No, 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 no. Okay, here we go. I need to see this for myself, man. Hold on, they got Stevie J on tape for real? Oh my goodness. What is he doing with that man? This nigga. He on tape with the big chick too? He got her OnlyFans. Why is he posing like that? Like, mm -hmm. he trying to be beautiful for the cameras. The hell is he in there doing with them tight ass pants on? With the She-Hawk. You had a baby with a She-Hawk. The biggest chick you ever seen in your life. I ain't gonna front, I probably would've, um, I would have had a baby with her crazy ass too. Oh my <laughs> but that's Negro hitting over there. He pucker his lips up like he about to snatch something. Like you ain't nothing but some juicy fruit. He snatch a little ass up like a grape and go on about his business. Them boys start shaking whenever he come in the room. Like, ooh. She ain't got no neck talking about she want to give him some neck. Like, oh, how we going to do that? Shorty look like, okay, bitch. Hold on. He got his ass beat on love and hip hop by a manly woman. She swing on your ass. You going to be, he tried to hit her. She thought she was, he was trying to punch her in the face. He trying to get the bug out of her nose. He had never raised his hand to this chick. Got booty goon written all over him. Like you gonna be next nigga. Oh my goodness. I don't want to believe it, man. I don't want to believe he be peeking around the corner when you be in the shower and all that. Soon as you turn around, he hit you with that face right there. Like, ooh, he got the devil in him. Yes, he, he got that face like he'll do anything. He over there plotting on the booty. Soon as you bend over and you crack out, that's when he start grinning like that. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> He get real, he get real cheesy when it's time to get nasty, man. I could see the demon. He definitely got something sinister going on. He get to sniffing with that big ass nose. Next thing you know, he don't fly on some jail bait. That's his baby mom's. And look at her new dude. She all she do is date zesty dudes. 
She left one zesty man for another zesty man. And she got big hands. I don't want to believe, I don't want to believe none of this stuff about Diddy, Stevie J, Meek Mill. I don't want to believe none of it, man. And besides, they are some grown ass men, but it do explains a lot about what the hell is going on in the music industry, man. It ain't nothing but a big old jailhouse. That's where hip hop is a jailhouse. Just sum it up to that. And if you listen to it, you listening to jailhouse music. You in the, you represent the jailhouse too. If you represent hip hop culture, you represent prison culture. And that's all there is to it. You subjected to criminal shit all the time. And you okay with it and you willing to take the charge. Whoop. And that's for the men and the women, man. It's all fucked up. But that's Negro here nor there. Yo, y'all gonna have to let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. I appreciate every last one of y'all for tuning in. And for the people that hit that cash app, let me show y'all some love before I get up out of here, man. Because y'all done did it and y'all ain't even have to do it, man. But I appreciate y'all for doing it. I'm talking about Gabrielle Joza. Thank you so much. Grace, Lars, Tammy. Tammy, Minnie Rippleton, Demetrius Bright, April Jamar, Angela Reddick, Ms. Ness, Humble Waters, Natasha Love, Lauren Gammon. I got so much love for y'all. I'm going to holla at y'all on the next video. You know you want to, you might as well subscribe.